my name is Adam uh, with Atlas Med Staff. Uh, I'm a recruiter here. My oldest daughter, Jacqueline, is 10 now, um, but when she was first born, she was uh, about three weeks early. Um, and everything uh, delivery-wise and everything, she was okay, but she just didn't cry a ton uh, when she was delivered. And uh, so they took her, uh, monitored her for a little bit, and then all of a sudden they're like, hey, we're gonna take her to the NICU. And we were kind of like, all right, that's, uh, that's weird, but there's obviously a good reason. It was uh, kind of just a crazy time and couldn't really think about it, but she ended up staying in the NICU for about a week. She had some wet lung, um, and then um, she kind of had some failure to thrive uh, to get started eating and uh, kind of breastfeeding and, and going from there. So, you know, looking back 10 years ago, it was, it didn't seem like a big deal now. And uh, as being new parents and first child, I, I don't think we had an idea of really what was going on. So it was kind of a, kind of a crazy experience, but uh, Thank goodness uh, my, my wife's best friend was a NICU nurse at the time um, and kind of could walk us through the process and, and what was going on and answer our questions and all that stuff. Really love those NICU nurses, uh, love uh, the time they spend with the babies and keeping them healthy and, and I know that my one week experience is, is probably a short, uh, short lived for some of those people that spend uh, two to three months in the NICU and, and possibly the PICU after that. So. Thank you nurses for everything you do out there and we appreciate uh, your hard work and sacrifice, thanks.